Good afternoon guys, Fish with Jack. Back here down by the Palace Pier today. See if we can get, a, uh, get some more flatties. Maybe a bass. Good fish. Got Dan, Dan Gallagher with us here today. Trying to hand out a bit of fish here. He's doing some swerving. Got three that picked down for myself. All on lug, back lug. And then Dan's got Free hook flapper, long snoods, quite long snoods on it. I'm a four, uh, six ounce lead, grip lead, got a six <laughs> ounce gripper there, it's quite a big tide out of there. Ripping through, a few people fishing here, so should get signed. Let's give us a cast out then, see what we can do. Wait, let me cast out first. Yeah, that is the closest one to it, man. Yeah. There's, there's a bit of a pain. So we've got a pen, pen, pulley pen on a uh, one bit of black lug. It's on YouTube. On a six six ounce roller there. It's going to send down the fish anywhere, any fish anywhere. So Dad's got his uh, very first fish with fishing with Jack, little Rocklin, little bit, no, just a standard Rocklin, lovely little fish. Happy with yourself, Dan? Yeah, mate, first catch of the day, not bad going. Yeah, still yeah. playing more, playing more to catch in there, Dan. Yes, mate, fucking loads more. Good man, good man, good catch, Dan. Right. A couple of nice knocks on the Dreamcast, so I'm going to see what she's got. Don't lose the next one, yeah? Double shot, ladies and gentlemen. Nice little place and a nice little fighting white in like I thought. <laughs> Top hooked. He's gonna be used as a bit of bait, so in the place. It's a bit small, but you know, we'll see. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Good lovely, catch. lovely colours on her. Till next time guys. 
Oh, a little one, a little one. See, Dan's on the fish. Dan's on to a fish. Second fish. Oh, oh he's got, got he's got the old fighting whiting. <laughs> he ain't working wet like that. <laughs> the fighting whiting, Dan. Yeah, it's a whiting, man. Yeah, they, they have got a fight. Little whiting, that. Fucking hell, got a single uncle. Dan's little whiting. On the Not bad. On the flatty flapper. Not bad. It's, like, it's a fish, it's a fish, man. Good man, man. Good man, Dan. This is a good looking one. Cheers. So Dan's into another fish. Oh, nothing, Dan. Whiting. I'm surprised there's still loads of them about at the moment. It's a tiny little thing though. No. Yeah, he's going back. So next time we hope for the flatty today or uh, might put a bit of a squid on uh, the top hook and then just have the bottom hooks as a straight lug on it. Ho hopefully get a dogfish, uh, bass, something like that. I'll just switch it up a little bit later and see what the fish is going for. No, they're going for the refreshed lug, but I want something bigger. I want something bigger. I'm just going to show you guys what, uh, what taxi I'm going to go for now. Where's the top hook? Get that old bit of lug off. Beer in the shop. Beer Get it 
distance, lovely. Well over 100 yards. You know when you're fishing you just felt like you got to hold that cast right, that was one of those. Got a good, lovely bit of trajectory on it, right bit of distance to height for the horizon, so yeah, I was quite happy with that. Not the furthest, but just for a standing pump, that's a good, good hundred yards. Good hundred yards. It's a bit misty, so they might not have caught it, but it was a good cast. <laughs> you got a nice bit of pressure, I felt, felt a nice bit of compression on the rod, let the rod do its work, and, you know, if I, if I had the braid on there, we would have added up 15, 20 yards onto that cast. But, you know, lack of funding. We are on the mono at the moment, so... Until I get, until I get some funding for some braid, then uh, we'll start with it. But, to be honest, with the braid, a bit better for... With the mono, I mean, a bit better for the rough ground. The braid's expensive, so fish on rough ground you are all right with. Um, so, yeah, hoping now I've got squid on the top hook. And then the bottom two hooks and the bit down there, straight lug work. Hopefully for the flatties and uh, get a dog. So, um, hey guys. Got a live, uh, got a live, uh, got a um, whiting on there. A little pin whiting on there, on the old fish, any fish anywhere. Um, on the panel rig. Just looking for that residential conga there around. Quite rough out there today, quite a lot of colour in the water, so I'm. Um, optimistic about a conga or a big bass taking it so fingers crossed ladies and gentlemen love a little pin widening love one yeah i'm doing a bit of match standards now change baits every 15 minutes but this guy just taken bites slacked off a little bit so i'm gonna uh, just launch a um two three hook pit down rig top on the squid and two lug worm um with fresh baiting now yeah, the weather's coming in a bit. Pretty angry. I did have a 45 minutes hour sesh. It'll get cool, I think. Um, the sea is rough. The weather is rough. The vision is rough. But we bossed it for two hours. Yeah, in this fun well, yeah, no, we've been here for four, four hours or whatever. But it's been horrific for two. Yeah, we're here fishing, ladies and gentlemen. Fishing for jab, we fish in all weathers. Not sure, a bit of rain. Starting to be the side, ladies and gentlemen, my pendulum cast. I might have to go for some cast next about the pendulum. I can't really do it. Um, Not exactly great conditions for it either. Well, and that's a heavy rod he's using. It's a heavy rod, but to be honest, you need a stiff rod with the old, uh, the old painting cast and that. But, you know, coming back to it, you know, the in injuries I've got and that, and my bad back, bad elbow, you know, I've got to use the lightest stuff. But it's still, it's still good, but, you know, if anyone's got any other ways off the ground to ride, it's doing off the ground okay. But, you know, if anyone's got any other techniques or tips and that, I'd quite appreciate it. Uh, leave your advice or comments in the uh, in the comment section. Hello guys. Gonna call it now. Just gonna bring in the rods now. See what we got. Bring drift past up. Hello guys. Gonna call it now. Just gonna bring in the rods now. See what we got. Bring drift past up. Nibbles on them, nibbles on the lug and that. Little taken, right? Yeah, it did take the squid a bit. Don't take the go. 
it's uh, been munched up a bit. The rig's been moved a bit into a bit of state. It could be the whiting. But other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching. Had a few fish today. Weather wasn't the best. No shelter, so, you know, it's a bit much. But, yeah, we were here fishing. We still caught a few, you know, safe for blank. A few, few whiting come up. A couple of flatties. Got the favourite dogfish. Yeah, not too bad of a day. I think it's the worst place to be on a uh, Wednesday, that's for sure. So, uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. And if you haven't already, like, share, and subscribe. And thank you very much for your uh, comments on that and uh, what advice to give me. Please don't hesitate to write comments. Thank you very much, guys.